Hey guys and welcome back to Brave Knight. Today I finished building this device. I called it Chicken Simulation. It took me 3 weeks to finish it. It's actually a homemade eggs incubator. Now let me show you how it works. When I open this door, you are gonna see that we have a plate here covered with foil. And there's a net on top of it to put the eggs on. And we have another blade here with two sponge and these two blades will be full of water. Now let me show you what is inside this. As you can see, in the top side we have a 60 watt lamp and a fan. Let me turn it on. When the fan is on, it will push the air through the heat source and then the hot air will gonna go down through this curve. And then it will go out again through this hole to get inside this box to go up again and this circle will keep going like that. And as you can see we have another window here to control the heat by opening it a little bit to let the unwanted heat to go out. You should have a thermometer and now the incubator is ready. This is the final shape, so let me show you how I did it. All we're gonna need is a box. Inside the box, you have to dig a hole in the top of the box to add the lamp. In the top right or in the top left, you are gonna add a fan. So, you have to dig a hole. In the fan side or cut a small piece and you have to cover the whole box with the foil I will do that later we also need a fan this is all handmade this is a piece of wood four light plastic parts small motor cardboard cardboard wood sticks and that's it and I made this switch for it And of course we need a thermometer you should have one that measure the humidity also but this is what I have for now and finally you need a thermostat or a timer and I don't have none of these so I made this tool this is a starter but I reversed the way it works I don't know if it's gonna work or not but I'm gonna try it anyway but if you touch it when it's on you will gonna die so I will gonna cover it with this cover just like that now it's all covered with the foil it's time to make the door now the door is ready with a plastic window it's look cool now cut a piece of cardboard like that and put it under the lamp just like that and here you can put the water tray okay now it's time to add a lock for the door and add the fan the light and all the other stuff so let's do it here is the door lock the fan is connected and ready to use yeah it's nice The light is ready to use. The thermometer is connected. Now let's give it a try. Now it's time to add this inside. I just put it right here next to the lamp. Now let's try it. I hope it works. The fan is working, the light is working. Now it's 30 degrees, 33, the engine is struggling to move, okay I will turn it off, I lost the wing from the fan, now they hit 35, the fan is damaged after a few seconds, and this is cool, okay I will fix the fan first, everything back in business, so let's try it again, 31, still nothing, Oh, 
No, it's 39. Nothing happened. I don't think the thermostat will work. The fake thermostat. It's 41. Still rising. It is not good. No, it's 43. Okay, this is dangerous. The fan is damaged at 44. We'll turn it off. Okay, I, did, I don't need all that. I just needed 37. Let's keep rising and nothing happened. The fan is just full at 44. Okay, enough for that. Stop, stop, stop. I lost everything. The handmade thermostat is not working. It's need more than 100 degrees to make it to work. So I will try to find another way to control the heat. The weak handmade fan is garbage because it's all made from hot glue and the hot glue become a hot glue again with heat. So I'm gonna use a normal PC fan. I get this one designed for heat. I put it outside and everything will be fine. I add the fan here. And I remove the ground foil. Now let's try it again. Now the heat reach 41 degrees with the fan on. But if I turn it off, it tries up to 45 again. I have to find a way to reduce it 4 more degrees. I removed more foil. Now the heat reach 41 degrees without the fan. And I build this. With this window. I will control the temperature when I open it the air will go out to this net that I will gonna cover with plastic and this process will give the air a chance to interact with the outside temperature and after that the fan will bring the air back again without losing the humidity I cover it up with plastic and it's half open from downstairs I just open this small area the fan is working light is on if the heat is still rising I will gonna open it a little more now I have to wait now it's 40 I guess I have to open it a little bit more unfortunately I opened the window all over the way and the heat is still rising to 42 this is hopeless and as you can see I add this piece of cardboard I made another window but this time this one leads to outside the air will come out there is no way back this time and of course I can control it I know it's hopeless but this time should work I did everything now I have to wait now if I open this now the air will just go around in circle from here to here to here from outside and will go back again with the fan and if I open this too now some of the air will go out and the circle is still working on and this process will decrease the heat and if I closed this one and I left this side open the whole air will come out from here which I don't need right now now the heat reached 42 degrees it is time to open this window I open it a little bit now I will wait okay now the heat decreased to 39 I closed this one a little bit and I opened this one a little bit and now I will wait and it is done we did it it's about 37 and a half I opened this window halfway and I closed this one like that and this is the result the heat problem is done and now let's think about the humidity problem actually I ordered hygrometer online it will maybe arrive tomorrow or after tomorrow so I'm gonna close that now it is done 
I finally get one. This one measure the heat, the humidity, and of course it has a clock. So let's try it. And with free battery. Nice. Now it's working. The humidity is 65 without doing anything. I don't think I need a plate of water. 67. It's rising. Now the plate is full of water. I will turn the fan on and the thermometer is inside. I will see what will gonna happen. Okay, let me show you the final updates. First, I add this box. Now I reduced the space. And second, I raised this piece of cardboard from here to there to make this plate more closer to the light, to the heat source. And third, I add three locks to the door. Now there is no air will come out from here. And finally, I add a curve here. Now with the fan, push the air through the light and the water. It will be easy to go down and go inside here and the circle will start again. Here is the water plate. Now I guess it's ready to try it. That's enough. By the way, I made this door, small door to see what's going on upstairs. Wait. Because now there is no way you can see anything now from here. Now I will put my thermometer and it's time to wait. I added three tissue here to make sure that the air is actually going down and they are moving. I opened this hatch by this rate and I put a mark here. Now it will always be 37.5. I don't know why the humidity is still 31. I'm going to try to find a way to fix it. Now I will make a place to put the eggs on and then this device will be ready to use. I add another blade and I cover it with a foil and I fill it with water. Now I have two blades full of water. This one make the humidity increase to 43, which is good. And someone told me that the humidity will keep rising inside by the time. So I get it's done now and I will put the eggs on top of this plate and we are ready to go. I finally bought some eggs. I know I bought them from the supermarket because we don't have any farms in the area because I live in the, in the middle of the city. No farms, no chickens, no anything. So this is my only option. Even I don't know if this eggs is impregnated or not. But like I said, this is my only option. The date today is 9-11 and the eggs date is 9-8. It's three days old and this is mean it's still fresh. And as you can see, I built this net to put the eggs on and now I'm waiting to get the desired heat. And as you can see, I name it Chicken Simulation and this is my channel. You know what? We're going to just put them on. I can't wait. If this process doesn't work, this does not mean that this box is not working. The problem will be in the eggs because I success to reach the desired heat and humidity. So all you have to do is getting the right eggs. Now I will gonna wait for 3 days and then I will gonna shake the eggs with a flashlight. So don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.